Before I get to my recent Funko pickups, I do want to share something with you here. Okay, so I was looking through the timeline in the Facebook group, Nerdy Adult Collectors Unscripted, which is uh, basically run by Robin's Nest. Um, they have a YouTube channel. They really haven't been using it much lately, but uh, some of you may be familiar with it. So, uh, yeah, I was scrolling down the timeline, and I just came across an item that really caught my eye. And it's actually a charm here. I'm just taking it out of the bag. And, uh, you know, just from looking at my background here, I think you'll get an idea of why this charm caught my eye. <laughs> so, on one side of the charm here, and let me make sure it focuses. You see there, the classic Harley Quinn with the ha-ha-ha going on beside her which is very nice and and this is what really makes this charm so cool I mean that's already great looking artwork there but then when you turn it to the other side you have the Suicide Squad version of Harley Quinn so yeah I thought this was a very cool charm I was like yeah I gotta get that for myself you know and um I really don't know where I'm gonna put this at but I, I like it regardless who knows it might actually end up in my next um shadow box but uh yeah, I want to make sure I got one for myself, and I actually got two more of them for friends because I think this is just a great little gift, you know, to to give somebody. So um, I also followed up and I checked out the artist um, Etsy page, and let me go ahead and share this with you. Along with the charms, she actually also sent here a handwritten note, and the artist's name is Caitlin Leopold, and you see here this is um. I'm assuming she uses this almost like the ma mascot for her art. Maybe, I don't know, just a very cute um, image there. And it actually looks similar to the artist. Okay, so it says here, Franklin, thank you so much for buying my art. I hope that you enjoy the charms. Please feel free to message me via email, Facebook, or Instagram with any feedback, questions, or concerns. I appreciate your support. Best wishes, Caitlin Leopold. And then she also sent a card here as well. So, um... I've checked out her Etsy page. I think she has some great art, um, you know, and I'm going to actually share some of it up here on the screen for you all so you can take a look at it, see what's available there. Very reasonable prices as well. Most of the items that she has are $5 or even less because she does have some stickers of her art as well. She has prints, which um, the price varies depending on what size that you get. Please make sure that you do go and check out her Etsy page. I will link it down below in the description. Um, like I said, very cool art, very great gifts, and I know I'm definitely going to um, make some more purchases. She actually has there, you see, the, the website, but like I said, I'm going to put a link down below, but those are her, um, you know, you see her e um, email address there in case you want to contact her. But yeah, just check her out and... Um, this is something I like to do. I really like to support artists that aren't with a company. You know, they're doing their own thing. They're independent. And we all got to get in the habit of doing that. I think sometimes people feel like something is not worth the time unless it has some company's approval. But we really shouldn't think that way because there are a lot of great artists out there who are independent. So, yeah, make sure you check out Caitlin Leopold. I really appreciate that. And, um, you know, my friends that I picked this charm up for, you will be getting it very soon. You know who you are. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. So, Funko Pickups. Let's get right to it. Uh, of course, one of the big movies coming up is the Wonder Woman uh, solo movie. So, uh, out of that line, I decided just to get the uh, common pop. This is number 172, Wonder Woman. And this one I just really like because I've been... Wanting Wonder Woman with the shield. Those of you that have been with my channel for a long time, I'm sure you've heard me say it at some point that they really need to do Wonder Woman with the shield. When Batman vs. Superman came out, I was hoping for a variant of the pop with the shield. It never happened, but yeah, we got her now, and I, I really do like this figure. As far as the other ones are concerned, I was actually able to find the um, Walmart exclusive. The first one I saw had a really damaged box. I may um, throw up images of that, but if not, just, you know, take my word for it. Very rough looking box and there was only one left. But then I went to another Walmart and I was able to find a couple of them, but I didn't keep one for myself. I just wanted to help out friends. So, um, yeah, but I, I still prefer her with the sword and shield. Um, and I'm looking here real quick. The One of them that they don't have, uh, which is understandable, one that they don't have on the box is... 
the Diana Prince one where she's also holding um, the shield, I believe. That one is the Entertainment Earth exclusive, and I, I'm kind of interested in that one. I don't know if I'll actually go for it or not. And then Wonder Woman in the blue dress, I kind of like that one as well. So that that one might get added to my collection, but that's pretty much it for me. Just because, um, I mean, I, I like Wonder Woman as a character. I don't know if I'm like the, the hugest fan as much as um, some other DC characters, but... She's definitely um, an amazing character overall. I mean, I really love her in animation. I'm looking forward to the live action movie. And I still feel like Marvel should kind of be ashamed of themselves because they've been at the movie game. Marvel Studios has been at the movie game for a good while now. And they still managed to let DC beat them to getting a female action hero her own big time movie. You know, so yeah, to me, that's kind of a shame. But yeah, this is a great looking figure. The sword is a little bit bent. I've, I've said this recently. That tends to happen with weapons on Funko Pops. But, um, you know, I'm just by me bending it there some. You see, like, it could... It's kind of straightened out some already. So definitely not a big deal. At least with this type of weapon because it's thin. When it's like um, heavy-duty guns like the one that the Punisher carries for um, Daredevil Season 2, that one to me... Yeah, I, I really want to find one with the straight weapon because I think that one is kind of difficult to get back in place. The shield here, this one is molded um, onto her arm. It's not one that can be removed like with Captain America's shield, which is fine because I wouldn't want to take that off of there anyway. And I like too that she has the lasso of truth there, which of course has a little bit of flexibility to it. But again, not really a reason to move it around. And she's kind of standing at an angle, you know, so you see her head turned and... um yeah, I really want to keep her head in that position because it just makes sense there. I, I think this is just a great looking figure. Really exemplifies the character of Wonder Woman. So I'm very happy with it. The hair sculpt isn't super complicated, but I mean, it looks nice overall. The headband, cool with the star there. And I like that she has, this is something they do with a lot of Funkos, especially the female characters. Just a little blush there. Really glad that the paint isn't bleeding into the hairline like it tends to do sometimes with some Funko Pops and overall this is just a really clean paint job so I'm really happy with this figure I, I think this is very cool looking like I said I just so cannot wait for the movie the more um I, I know sometimes previews give away too much but they've they've had a couple of previews now for Wonder Woman and I don't feel like they've spoiled anything I, I still don't know exactly what the plot is going to be and I'm happy with that so really looking forward to that movie now let me move on to the next figure I also found this at Walmart didn't think I was going to come across it missed it online but I looked up and got the rock candy this is the black and white Harley Quinn and I actually do have the original um yeah, they got it pictured here. I do have this one, which I want to say was a SDCC exclusive from last year. Um, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say it was SDCC because they also had a Catwoman in the purple suit as well, which I also have that one too. So really glad to have this one now. I'm actually not going to take this one out of the box. Sorry about that. But yeah, I want to keep this one in the box. But I, I think it looks phenomenal. As a matter of fact, let me do grab the other one real quick here. So there we go. Yeah, that's correct. You see it says 2016 Summer Convention Exclusive, which means SDCC, basically. So, yeah, the original color one. Then I got the black and white one here, and I really think they both look great. I need that third one, though, that seems to have disappeared. It's supposed to be a Target exclusive. Um, I thought it was going to make it in time for Valentine's, since it is a, a pink and white one, like the pop figure, which uh, I do have the pop figure up there. So, yeah, I don't know what happened with that one. But I'm really hoping it's still on the way and I hope I can get my hands on it and have all three of them together. Because, of course, you know, like I said, you know, it's pretty obvious. Big Harley Quinn fan. So, yeah, really looking forward to that one. Hopefully it's still on the way. If anybody knows anything about it, please let me know. Okay, so, like I said, I'm not going to unbox the new Harley Quinn, but I'm really glad to have that one. Now, the next figure... I've been talking about this one uh, for weeks, and uh, it's been mentioned on my Funko News, and I've had an image of it at the end of my Funko News. If some of you were really paying attention, you may have noticed that that image was missing at the last, um, at the end of the last Funko News video, and that is because I finally do have it. And of course, I'm talking about the man himself, Blade. Yes, I, I've been. This has been like my most anticipated pop 
for a while so glad to finally have it just really amped to have it and um by the way i think i told you all that when this comes out i'm not getting one i am getting two so yep i got another one here now this one isn't in a great position in this box he uh, is kind of out of position there but that's fine i just uh and in fact i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this one and actually i'm probably gonna switch uh well it depends the paint job is good on both of these one of the boxes is just just slightly better so i don't know i might pull a switch rule because one of these i'm definitely going to keep in box and then i want to have one for display that's why i picked up two of them so uh yeah this one with the head out of position i'm going to take this one out because yes that has been kind of irking me just a little bit that his head is out of position there so i'm gonna very carefully take this one out and I was able to get this figure from um, Player's Choice in North Myrtle Beach. You know, people that follow my channel, you hear me talk about that store all the time. So, yeah, here we go. And his head being bent down doesn't seem to have hurt the spring or anything. So, still in a great position there. Very well designed figure. Like the shades on him. Now, this one here, actually, let me see something. Because, okay, so they actually do have the eye painted below. This one... Now, when you look at it head on, you really don't notice it much, but I can kind of see the eyes almost peeking beneath the shades there. So the shades seem like they probably could have been leveled out just a little bit better on there. As a matter of fact, there it looks really crooked, but um, yeah, it doesn't look that bad overall. And it kind of gets me curious. Let me see the other one here again real quick. But this one, it almost looks the same way. So I guess in general, they probably could have had the shades more leveled on the figure, but not a big deal because I mean when it's just sitting on the shelf yeah it's not something you notice that's something I think you only notice really up close the um the sword here like is really straight not like the um, wasn't bent like the Wonder Woman one but that might be because it is closer to his body so it doesn't really have room to move around it, like I said very clean paint job and I will let you know I did see two more of these at Player's Choice and I looked at them carefully because I started to get all four because like I said I wanted two for myself and then I was thinking about getting the other, like, two more to try to hook up friends. But, um, and actually they had six all together, excuse me. But the other two that were on the floor, they had already sold. Okay, so, um, they had four sitting aside for me, but I looked at two of them. One of them, okay, this, if you look at this pouch right here, it's glued on. And the glue was, like, seeping from beneath the pouch. And even there was like a glue trail up here because I was looking at it close like, what is that? It looked like a slash mark at first, but then I looked close and I realized it was like a trail of glue and I followed it down. And that's why I noticed a little splotch of glue by that pouch. So, yeah, definitely wasn't going to get that one. And then if you look here, you see the silver buckles there at the, um, you know, up here near the top of his uh, top. <laughs> okay, And um, some of that silver paint was kind of dripped down on the other one. So yeah, those two I ended up leaving in the store. I just, I, I felt like they didn't look on point enough, especially for a pop that I've so been anticipating. And if I was going to pick up one for anybody, I mean, I wanted them to have a paint job that's on point. Uh, Player's Choice did say they may get some more of this figure in. So um, yeah, you know, my, my close friends, you know, you can holler at me, let me know if you're interested in this one. And when I say close friends, you if you don't have to wonder, you know who you are, <laughs> you know, so uh yeah, my close friends, if you're interested, do let me know, and I'll see if Player's Choice has actually picked up some more of these. But yeah, I, as far as the design goes, I really do like it. Um, like I said, very clean paint job. Definitely better than the paint jobs for, well, Kamala Khan, Miss um, Marvel, is on, she, she's on point. And she was a Walgreens exclusive, and I got one for myself, and then I did pick up um, at least two more for friends. So her paint job was great. But these other ones, Black Bolt, I have not yet seen with a good paint job. And I've seen them in multiple stores. I've seen them in FYE. I've seen them in at least two comic shops. Uh, just, I have not seen a good paint job yet. Iron Fist, to me, the paint looks cheap. I, I really don't care for it. And I really don't like the way that they did his fist either. And then Luke Cage is okay. But still, I feel like um he could have looked better. As a matter of fact... It's hard to see here on the box, but there are like these two um, ribbons that kind of tie his shirt closed somewhat. That to me is where the paint really doesn't look so hot on that particular pop figure. And then I have seen some bleeding as well with the silver of his headband into his hair. So 
I'll, I'll just say this if you're going to get any of those three figures look at them very carefully because like I said I've seen them and they look kind of sloppy as a matter of fact I also saw um it was either Iron Fist or Luke Cage or it may have been both of them at the North Carolina Comic Con as well and I was just not impressed you know but I'm a huger fan of Blade anyway this is the character I really like and I'm so glad that they did him justice you know he's got the head tattoos it doesn't go I mean it stops like right there but um you know that's fine I think that is true enough to the character it doesn't have any tats on his arms again that's okay that's fine I'm really hoping that this one sells big because I still would like them to do one of him with the coat on that that'd be really nice if he had the um the overcoat on that 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 would look great as well so yeah I really hope this one does sell well and if it's super popular who knows maybe we'll get a variant eventually I know this kind of slim odds but it would be nice so yeah really happy to have blade finally um again uh, like I said the only thing that I could say negative about the design is that the shades could be straighter but that's almost a nitpick because I mean when you put it like I said when you put them on a the shelf or if you just have them displayed in the box that's really not something that you even notice so um yeah I'm, I'm so happy that I finally had this and I really hope that Marvel finds something interesting to do with the character it's kind of irking me that I, I've heard it all, I don't know if it's true or not but um I've heard rumors that they don't know what to do with Blade right now even though they have the rights back to the character and they, they say it's because a vampire is being such a huge part of his story and of course him being you know sort of an amalgamation or um I guess I hate to use a term like half breed but I mean it's almost what he's like so um bringing vampires into the Marvel Universe they seem to be struggling with that and I'm like really okay you have you have Greek guys you have aliens I mean at this point it should be anything goes in the Marvel Universe so I don't see why vampires would be an issue so I really hope they work that out I would like to see Blade actually as a Netflix series as opposed to another um, film franchise yeah I, I would really love to see a um, a series and one much better than the one that they had I believe it was on Spike TV. The big problem with that one was it wasn't enough about Blade. Too much of the plot focused on um, supporting characters, especially the woman that he worked with, which that was a big misstep to me. And the same thing basically happened with the film franchise, although to be honest, the third movie, Blade Trinity, was just an absolute mess. Wesley Snipes didn't really want to do it. David Goyer is not a great director. He might have talent as a writer, but he is not a great director. And um, there was a lot of miscasting in that movie, a lot of just plot lines that didn't really mash up well together. It was just a mess. So uh, I really don't want to go anywhere near that type of movie again. I would rather see it as a well-developed series that really does focus on Blade as a character. And I want to hear from you all. What would you like to see done with Blade? Um, one idea that actually came to mind, I'm going to say this quick and then I will wrap this up. Because trust me, I could talk about Blade for hours. I really do love the character. Um... And also, if anybody's a big comic book fan and you know a good Blade story for me to check out, please let me know because I am for, more familiar with him through um, movie and animation and things like that. I would like to check out some um, good comics with him as well. But uh, an idea that can't cross my mind, okay, because Punisher is getting his own Netflix series and, of course, he really tackles crime and organized crime. And we know within the Blade movies, um, and I'm sure it's true of the comics as well, that the vampires have kind of dug their way into organized crime i think blade should be introduced through the punisher series at some point i think that would be awesome and you know maybe they end up hunting down the same criminal that does turn out to either have ties to vampires or actually be a vampire himself so i i would like to see that i, I really want to see them do something interesting with blade but like i said i want to hear your ideas what do you think about the pop what do you think about the character what do you think marvel should do with the character um and let me know what you think about the other pickups that i have here as well do not forget to check out the artist that i mentioned at the beginning um okay and here she is again and she also sent this um which i was trying to see if this was a sticker or just a little icon by itself but uh yeah uh caitlin leopold don't forget to check her out like i said link in the description and uh hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna go and cut myself off from rambling and i'll talk to you all again real soon